Morning friends, welcome to the farm, it's a windy farm this morning. So, uh, yesterday, um, my, my tolerance for public ridicule seems to have been uh, tested a bit and increasing. So I'm asking questions that obviously put me in the spotlight for attack, and that I was. So I've been called a flat earther. How that fits into the picture, I have no idea. Um, but uh, yeah, and uh, I've been told I must go back to school. Uh, um, the problem is the school was the problem. I don't believe anything they taught me there. And uh, the last time I had this kind of ridicule was uh, when I. Uh, blurted out my feelings with regards to the moon landing, which I think was a load of crap. Um, and I still, from that, I asked, please give me evidence, because I don't believe that a company as big as NASA would lose all that data or record over it, as they said. They, they've lost every single original piece of data with regards to the moon landings, every single one of them. And uh, all getting through the Van Allen belts, that radiation that kills humans, getting through that, they've lost that all. And they've got no technology uh, on hand or any idea of how to land on the moon again, so they're not going back. So that to me, I now call bullshit on that one. Um, if uh, you don't call bullshit on that one, then obviously your bullshit meter is broken. Um, or your uh, reasonable thought meter is um it's got got some some tweaking. Um, what, what I what I still don't get is that we and when, when I'm not a flat earther, right? Uh, because when we were in training, we were uh, you you want to shoot a long range rifle, you've got to take in a few factors into into play. You've got to take in obviously the wind direction uh, and and the knots that they're blowing at. The, you got to take in the the gravitational pull on that bullet and then of course you work in the curvature the, the degree of the curvature of the earth if you're taking a long range shot so and that is facts i mean you, you can't deny that there is a curve and that's how uh, i know because when you pull that trigger if you want to hit your target you need to work with manage all those factors into it so so i'm not a flat earther but it, it doesn't make sense that i'm that i'm traveling around the sun and I'm looking away from the sun at night I'm looking to the sun in the, in the day and I'm traveling around it in a circle right and I'm looking away from it because when I look at the sun it's up in the sky uh, when I look away from it I'm looking the opposite direction so I'm looking away from the sun so I should have a 360 degree panoramic photograph right around of our universe and every at least every three months there should be a different set of stars that I'm looking at as I go around this trip around the sun in 365 days. Does that not make sense to anyone? How, how do I, how can I get that so wrong? Where am I supposed to be looking? Um, why, why does the basic drawing of, of someone traveling around the sun show me a panoramic view all the way around and everyone else is telling me I'm flipping up to crap? I don't get it. Um, if I was looking up, and it, or sorry, if I was looking at the way the diagram is drawn, then maybe um, those would all stay the same. But we're not looking in, in that place. We look, you know, that, that's where the North Pole is. So above there, I would I would presume those would all pretty much look the same because there they're all the same distance away. Or you know, anyway, I will follow. So my questions continue, and I know I'm up for public scrutiny and ridicule again. And I'm not a flat earther, uh, for those of you who think I am, although there are some really plausible um, uh, ideas about the flat earth, but I, I don't think the flat earth thing uh, really comes into play here. This is, these are questions about what am I seeing at night? Um, well, why, why does NASA tell me um, that everything's moving around all over the place? And uh, it doesn't make any sense in my head that it does, uh, or that we are. And um, the, the information they've given us just doesn't seem right. And everyone's lied to us before. You know, I don't believe them because they're part of the government organizations. Governments lie to us all the time. Um, they lie to us about the jab. I can't say the word because obviously they'll take the videos down. So, yeah, they lie to us about everything all the time. 
so I don't believe anything they say. And that's why moon landing, bullshit. And then this traveling around the sun, bullshit. Anyway, that's just um, my ideas. You don't like it? Oh well, just uh, scroll fast. We'll give us a little, uh, little laughing face. That'll do. Then I know you don't believe me. But I, I don't care whether you believe me or not. I'm too old to give a rat's ass myself. So yeah. Anyway, folks. You guys have a lovely day. It looks like it's going to be stinking hot again today. But this wind tells me that these changes are coming. We're probably going to have some, some storms coming in later. Maybe uh, some colder weather. Uh, which will be very nice. Yesterday I was stuck in a roof trying to fix a geezer. Oh man, I came out there, it looked like I'd just gone for a shower. It was brutal, absolutely brutal. So yeah, those of you working outside, stay hydrated. Have a good one folks. Cheers.